Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Let's jump into a game. And I have a favor to ask of you. Leave a comment if the audio sounds different. I just did a little recording test and I feel like since I just updated my Windows 11 to the, you know, what's it called? The, um, the, cumul the cumulative update for 2022. I feel like it sounds different suddenly, almost like there's an echo in the microphone. Like, you know, you know, if, if you ever played with those sound effects programs where you can add like auditorium effect, I don't know, it kind of sounded like that. So I hope there, I hope that's not true. Maybe I'm just hearing things or it could be that the playback is what sounds different and the audio recording is the same. So yeah, leave a comment if you notice a difference. And look at that, I had a nice little monologue in time for my opponent to completely stall out on move two. <laughs> oh goodness. I guess D5 really threw him off. He's like, oh my god, now what do I do? Okay, bringing the knight out. This could still turn into the London. You know guys, I... Oh, it could probably still turn into the Queen's Gambit. So I don't know what I'm going to play yet. Queen's Gambit, I do the Slav defense, and the London, I do C5. I don't know if it has a term, but let's let's mirror. We're going to bring our knight out as well. That icon is really small, but I think that's the Greek flag up there, isn't it? Yeah. Man, I, I wish they would make the icons a little bigger. Like, maybe... I don't know. Would it make sense to, to be around the same size as the profile picture? I mean, there's plenty of room up here. I think that would be kind of nice. Just to be able to see a little more clearly. Because it's actually... From where I'm sitting, I, I play on a little HTPC hooked up to my TV. I'm sitting on the couch, so I'm kind of far away from the screen. And I'll tell you, this looks to me a lot like what they've substituted for the Russian flag. You know, it's kind of just like a, a blue, a sh uh, some shade of grayish blue. That's exactly what this looks like because of the white and blue makes it kind of gray. Okay, the Tory attack. I have heard of this. I remember I watched a Ben Feingold video where he talked about, was it two or three things? It was like something, the London, the Collie. I think it's the Collie, the London, and the Tory. Something like that. And I have no idea what to do here. Obvious move is H6. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable move. Okay. I'm playing this like the Rui Lopez, except on the other side, where this opens up my bishop. So I'm going to go here now, and I'm ready to castle. So the idea of capturing away from the center is that it opens up the bishop and the queen. Well, no, sorry. In the in the Rui Lopez, it opens up the queen. In this one, it opens up the king, which is probably not good. <laughs> yeah, maybe this isn't the same. Just finishing off my coffee. Um, is there any issue with castling? I don't think so. This... You know, you often give your king some luft anyway. You know, there's something... That was weird. There's something weird in my coffee. Like, you know, I put cream in my coffee, and it seems like some of it maybe was a little clumpy. Which I don't mind, it's just unexpected. I can challenge his bishop, let's, or sorry, his knight, pin the knight, 
Let's do that. Well, I don't see a problem with just taking. Hold on. What's the issue here? If I take, he takes with the bishop, presumably. Or he ignore. No, he has to take with the bishop or I take his bishop. He takes with the bishop. Um, yeah, I don't see a problem there. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Okay, now I'm going to bring my knight out. Whew, but now what do I do? Centralize rooks is a good idea. Put the queen somewhere is a good idea. Let's see, queen here. Push this pawn. These are all ideas. Oh, you know what? This pawn is kind of nice because it, it protects the square from the knight. Whereas this square, he might jump into to start putting pressure. Huh, interesting. I can jump here, meanwhile, but that's not threatening anything. It, the only purpose would be to make room. Wait a minute. Knight a5. Knight a5. Bishop can't go here. If he goes here, I chase. If he goes here, I chase. He goes back. That's a weird position for his bishop, though, isn't it? But my knight is in a weird position, too. I wonder if knight a5 is worth doing. It gets my knight out of the way so I can push the pawn. It attacks his bishop, and I think he has to go over here, which is weird. So I'm going to do it. Okay, that was not at all what I expected, but it makes a lot of sense, of course. How do I support my knight here? Well, push this pawn, push, push this pawn, and then knight can jump in, right? Oh my gosh, what a beautiful outpost. <laughs> With no fight from my opponent, he gave me this wonderful outpost. That took like five seconds. That was amazing. Now I might want to push this pawn just to take away a square from that knight. Like if I go here, his knight can't jump in. He could jump here. Which is actually kind of annoying. Now that I think about it, that would be another reason to push this pawn. It lets my bishop back up. Hmm. Okay. He is threat. He's potentially doing something there, isn't he? Like, bishop here. Um, I don't know, guys. I, oh, he's taking away this square from my bishop. That's very clever. That's very clever. Let's see, I can jump in here forking. And if he ta captures with the knight, I take his bishop and hit his rook. So I'm trading a bishop for a knight. This is a beautiful knight. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that's a beautiful knight. But honestly, guys, I would rather have, I would rather have the bishop. Because that bishop is gonna line up here and be rather dangerous. That gives me the bishop pair. 
Plus, I'll be hitting his... Yeah, let's do it. <gasps> That's defended! Oh my god, what a blunder. I just noticed that his bishop is defended. Alright guys, that was horrible! Oh, I had to resign in humiliation. <laughs> wow, 94%. Yeah, I mean, this was a short game, so it's going to be pretty high. It was mostly opening stuff. But, um... Look at that. The computer does not like my outpost. Did you see that? All of those arrows said, Dude, what are you doing? Bring your knight back. But what the heck? That seemed that seems wonderful. Oh well. So here it wants me to take the knight. I've got a slight advantage for some reason, but only if I play knight d2. Oh. Well, well, well. Okay, my rook is hanging. This is messed up. Queen d3. And then I take the bishop. Opening up the king. Okay, that is cool. That is very, very tricky. Yeah, that is really cool. I whew, I would have been extremely proud to have seen that. Guys, if you saw that, give yourself bonus points. I hope you enjoyed that game, and I will see you next time. Bye.